this has been such a, a difficult challenge for me to overcome is mm. is not to use phones, electronic devices around my kid mm. because it's so easy just to, to remove yourself from, yeah, from their environment too, by doing yeah. that. And it's not something that they can really get involved in. Mm. And if they do, you've lost them. So I think something like juggling or, or whatever it might be, kicking a ball around, mm. I think doing that with the kids, you know. It's, well, it's really hard. It's yeah. really hard, especially as they get older. Yeah. It's but, really hard, like... Yeah. That's one thing that I was going to ask you earlier is is what do you think the impact of, of phones mm. is having on like men in their families, you know, mm. because I know me and my, my wife, we talk about it all the time. Like sometimes I'll be so busy and obviously you can do a lot of work stuff on your phone. Mm. So I'm not like on my phone looking through Instagram, mm. but I will be on my phone sorting out my clients, doing my programming, doing, you know, my scheduling for the next week, my calendar, whatever it is. But I always, you know, I get a lot of messages. I have a lot of clients. I get a lot of messages from people. And it it does feel at times that I am on my phone a lot. And I know she says to me, Danny, phone. And I, I and I know, but sometimes I do need to work. Yeah. But I think there is that impact of yeah. what you just said, being around your child mm. and him being on a phone or but, me being on a phone. Yeah. Just, <sighs> but I think it's just anybody. Just when it comes to building relationships, whether it's with mm. your children, which are obviously super important, but friends, anybody, when, you, when you're sat there on your phone, you're just telling that person, <laughs> yeah, we were yeah, telling that the, person that message yeah, yeah this everyone else is <laughs> more important yeah. than me yeah. in your company yeah. and uh yeah i yeah. think i think it's a real issue but it goes back to us talking about living in the moment as well yeah. and when you're living in your phone on your phone you're just yeah, not totally. yeah. and we we talked earlier just off off record about just especially with like hybrid working and working from home now as yeah. well or from your phones, it's really important to have the ability to almost compartmentalize mm. or just mm. box off stuff and go right this is my work time this is my home time mm. And I think that would be the advice that I would give to people who have that is you just got to get to a point in the day where you're like, oh, I'm done, phone's off, yeah, away, think, and that's it. And I'm definitely good at that. I definitely, yeah, like, yeah we all are, mate. I, I, I used to be really good at it. Like mm, I used yeah. to be, like if I didn't, if I didn't have an internet phone, mm. I wouldn't even be on it. Like yeah. I, I went back to a 3310 at one point. Yeah. I actually went on eBay and phone. bought like an yeah. old phone. Yeah. But then as, as my career has progressed and it's got busier and busier, I've just, yeah. I've just noticed it and it just winds me up. Yeah. It just winds me up, but it's, it's hard to get out of that. Yeah. Can I ask you both a question? Do you still have notifications on your phones? Uh, some. So yeah, I have one on silent, but yeah, I have yeah. no, notifications come up on my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does so, that make sense? So, yeah, yeah, so the, the, okay, the, yeah, the, yeah. the most recent iPhone I've got, it has different uh, modes on it. Yeah. So you've got like a focus mode where you can basically okay. shut off a lot of the notifications oh, from certain good. apps and certain people, which is great. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Have, yeah. I, have, I got, have I got that on my phone? I've got the 13. Yeah, i got the 13. Yeah, yeah I'll show oh, you I afterwards. That, yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. So That's you can, yeah. yeah so you good. can, know that. so if you're trying to do some deep work or, yeah, or just yeah. have some mindfulness, you can basically just shut it all off. And it, it still has, I think, for example, if my other half were to call me two consecutive times, yeah. it will notify me. So yeah, she knows yeah. that. That's so if it's an emergency, yeah, yeah. she calls me twice and I'll know. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's, it's good. You can, you can also save people as a VIP contact, That's right. for example. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. uh, the struggle is real. And I struggle with this as well. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just so pervasive. It's going to get worse as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they're just like their phones are just so. The, the, the dopamine pathways in your brain are fired constantly when you access mm. your phone because yeah. they're wired. They, they, all the um, the the programming is comes from the gambling industry. It's designed. <laughs> they want you. All the apps develop app developers want you to have maximum time on platform for yeah, advertising yeah. revenue. So they're designed to hook you in and keep you on on the device on the platform. Uh, and I think that you have to be very deliberate in how you engage with that device to hack that. I think it's understanding that though. And the yeah. thing that- the How many people understand that? Oh, exactly. This like, is the thing. There's you know a growing awareness that this is happening and you know, we are the product. You know, we are being exploited by you know, these other interests uh, and it's our attention is, is really their revenue. And yeah. we, we have to take back control. And I think for me, the thing that made the difference was just going cold turkey on notifications. Mm. So I had zero notifications. So nothing would come up. No, on nada. Everything off. That's cool. A whole, the whole thing. I just do not do notifications. And I just feel I've done this, been this way for like the last two or three years. And it, it works for me because I, I therefore engaged my phone in a more deliberate way. So I- It's I, when you want to. Yeah, exactly. So I batch check my phone. So I'll have a little check-in in the morning- where I go and I look at all the things that matter and I'm deciding, I'm going to go in, I'm going to have a look at my email, my WhatsApp messages, um, I look at the weather forecast, I look at BBC News, I look at my my, my mm. tasks. So I do that and I have like a, a time bound kind of um, 
time in the day when I do that. And then I'll check it again later in the day, like 11 a.m., check it again at 3 p.m., check it again at 4 p.m. But it's me getting my phone out, saying, right, I'm doing this on my phone. The kids aren't around. I've got a bit of space, privacy. And it's, I'm just engaging that device in a very deliberate way. But in between that, and this, I'm not saying I manage this all the time. In between that, I try and pretend my phone doesn't exist. I just don't engage with it. And do you know what? Most things can can wait. All of it can wait pretty much. Yeah, exactly. It's rare that someone needs to speak to you this moment in time. And they can always ring you up. And I'm happy to answer a phone call because that doesn't happen that often. Mm -hmm. Most of the distraction is around stuff happening on our badges, on apps, like Instagram, whatever. Uh, and, and emails and messages coming through. That is the biggest part of the distractibility, I think, of a phone. But yeah, yeah. turning your notification, going cold turkey notifications, that, that was a big thing, yeah. game changer I'll, for I'll me. I'll definitely give that a go. Yeah, definitely. no, that's really good advice. And mm-hmm. it, it's funny, as you were saying that, I was smiling because I, I noticed a while back on WhatsApp, I think when I was trying to set this up, um, I noticed on WhatsApp, you've got a little uh, message on there saying, I only check this like three times a day. Yeah, there'll be a delay in coming back to you. So I'm, tr- I'm trying to manage other people's expectations. Yeah. So some people do expect, you know, they send a WhatsApp, they expect you to pick yeah. that up quite quickly. So there have been moments where I've missed stuff because I engage with WhatsApp differently to most people. Most people will get the little buzz in their pocket and they'll just check it straight away. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want that, you know, like I'm with you. We've all got our phones off now. And isn't this great? Because we, yeah, we're, we're all talk. truly present with one another. Yeah. Isn't it the worst thing in a conversation where someone suddenly gets a buzz and like, oh, and, you know, even if they're still making eye contact you know you've lost them yeah. you've and lost they're them, just yeah. thinking about yeah. what's that oh what's happening there mm. that's that dopamine firing in their brain thinking it's the variable what reward yeah. of not knowing what that could be is it oh if i just won the lottery <laughs> or is yeah. that my wife telling me what's for dinner i don't know i, I can't <laughs> wait to find out and that's yeah. all i'm thinking about right now until i check my phone but i've got to wait till you finish your sentence first so just get it get on with it yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that, no, that is it, yeah. how it feels doesn't it when yeah. someone is in that mood yeah. 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 you're so yeah. right it's so right what you're saying that's so right 